guys! Today I'll be teaching you my favorite recipe for DIY goat treats. To start off, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to need one apple, molasses, a cheese grater, some flour, some cornmeal, and a measuring cup. You're also going to need a bowl and a wooden spoon or spatula, along with a sheet pan to bake the treats on. Okay, so you're going to get started by grating the apple and just grate right through the core. And I would really suggest using a cheese grater, but if you don't have one, you can also dice up the apple into tiny pieces. Once you're done, you're just going to set it off to the side and move on to the next step. So we're moving on to our dry ingredients now, and I'm just going to start off with our flour. And I used all-purpose flour, but if your goat has any allergies, you can also use coconut flour, rice flour, or really any type. I got three quarters of a cup and then I dumped it into my bowl and set that off to the side. So the only other dry ingredient you need is cornmeal and this helps the treats taste super good but it also helps preserve them. And I kept these treats in our refrigerator for like a month and a half and they didn't go bad. So they're really good. Anyways, measure out half a cup and you're going to pour that in with your flour and then you're going to give it a quick stir just until it's well combined. Remember those apples that we set aside? Well now's the time to use them. Take your shredded apples and put them into your flour and cornmeal mixture and you're going to stir it until the apples are essentially just coated. The last ingredient you'll be needing is molasses, and you're going to need a third of a cup. So measure that out and dump it in with the rest of your ingredients and stir that extremely well. You want to make sure that it's a consistent texture throughout the entire bowl, otherwise you're going to have certain spots in the dough that are a little bit dry, whereas others are going to be too wet. When you're done, your mixture should look somewhat like this. Spray your sheet pan with nonstick spray, and you can use coconut, canola, or olive oil. I used canola. And then you're going to roll balls about this big and place them all over. Once the sheet is full, go ahead and take the back of a fork and press the treats down just like a peanut butter cookie. The only thing left to do is bake your treats. Go ahead and put them in your preheated oven and bake them until they're no longer sticky to the touch. Let them cool and feed them to your goats as a treat whenever you'd like. Now you know how to make the best ever DIY goat treats. Remember those apples we set off to the side? Well, now's the time that we're gonna use them. Your jigger just, what was that? Your jigger just, what was that?